kingdom will be here any moment. Of course, everything is ready for the Emperor's parade. Yes, I double-checked with the kitchen and the menu is set. Now, what I forget about the Emperor's parade? Not at all. The plan, the route is planned and ready. Red, calm down. We're royal scholars. We know everything and everything is ready for the birthday, world's birthday celebration. If we are not where is it? Uh, you got a good point there. They're coming! They're coming! I can see them approaching from over the mountains! Rudy, what are you talking about? Right, you were waiting for the arrival of the kings and queens. Wait, where is everyone? Where are the royal artisans? They're supposed to be here right now. I thought they were with you. I thought they were coming with you. The emperor put us in charge of his royal birthday celebration. We can't mess this up. Red, at times like these, I wish you hadn't taken that vow of silence. Red only did it to become a better scholar. I know, I remember. Red said, I will listen and I will learn and I will speak again when there's a concern. And then she just stopped talking. Well, if this isn't a concern, I don't know what is. Go? That's all she wrote was go? Yup. Red's been writing like crazy. I thought she would have written a lot more than go. Me too. Hurry up, Red. We need to assemble the royal artisans for the arrival of the kings and queens. Ring? That's it? Go and ring. As royal scholars, we should be able to figure this out. Right. Let's see. Go ring. Go ring. Go ring. Ring. Go ring. Ring. Go. 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 Uh, I've got nothing. You? Nothing. The bell. Go ring the bell! Right! We are supposed to ring the bell in the tower to let the kingdom know to gather in the square to welcome the emperor's guest. Why did it take you so long to write that? Because I am practicing my penmanship. It was beautifully written, but no more dilly-dallying. The kings and queens of the elemental kingdom will be here any minute. Red, go ring the bell! <laughs> Look, here they come now! Wow, many 
penny, it looks like you're out of pennies. Out of pennies? Because you are talking nonsense. <laughs> okay, everyone, big smiles. Our guests are here. First, we have the Emperor's biggest fans, the King and Queen of Air. Look at their jewelry, so sparkling and shiny. So shiny. Always straight to the point and direct with the truth, the King and Queen of Fire. Look at their shoes, so modern and hip. So hip. Their glass is half empty even on their best of days, the king and queen of water. Look at the crown, so noble and grand. So grand. Mellow and calm, cool and collected, the king and queen of earth. Look at their clothes, so marvelous and stunning. So stunning. Your majesty is welcome. Thank you, where is Amber? I'm so excited to see our dear friend. We arrived exactly on schedule. The child is ready, but I don't see the emperor. The emperor must be stressed. Stress is the latest cause for insomnia. Relax, it's the emperor's birthday party. Guys, there's no need to worry. We're here to have a good time. My apologies, most welcome kings and queens of the elemental kingdom. The emperor is on his way. I told you he'd be late. But this was all part of the schedule for today. What? Yes, and um, we are the three scholars of the emperor and in charge of this little shindig. And, um, and, and, um, and, oh, and yes, the emperor wanted us to make sure you were all well acquainted with his royal artisan before he met with you. Why? Yes, why? Uh, well, um, because it's his birthday, that's why. Special treat to honor your visit here, haven't you? A new 
excuse me a moment. Your Highness, that's... Rudy, I need your advice. I, I didn't know if I'd buy you so... Nonsense! You must parade! You're the emperor! It doesn't matter what you wear. Remember, it's not the clothes that make a person, it's your character. You're right. Now let's get back to the kings and queens. Your party isn't going to celebrate itself. Oh, yes. Kings and queens of the island of kingdoms, and I have to you the gift from the royal silkworms. Silk Wars? I dreamed of this moment my whole life. The Royal Silk is legendary. Royal Silk are very expensive. All true. These amazing gifts are all from the Royal Silk Wars. The only thing I've ever seen is how they make the kind of Well, you need to tell you, but it's much better if they told you, right? Right! <laughs> Yeah. 
My guests say that it is the opposite. Your Highness, everyone wears clothes and people change their clothes so they can work, play, and even relax. But while we are always changing our clothes, there's one thing that we never change. What is that? Our hair. It doesn't matter if your clothes are made of silk, wool, or cotton, because beneath it all, the way you treat people is more important than the clothes you wear. Well, couldn't it help me to help others by wearing nice clothes? Well, maybe yes, and maybe no. You see, <laughs> your highness forgive me, but I must tell you our world that please think about the hot hot. Come here, your highness. Your highness. It's just you. You give me quite the stuff. Alright, my word. What do you mean by that? Do you just look so sad and lonely? I can see by your face. On your clothes. My clothes make you look worried. As one of your most loyal subjects, it pains me to say yes. Well, what should I do? The clothes in the temple, you should just wear clothes that fit you. I don't really know how old you are. Do such a thing. Kings and queen have the only king who said as well. Really? What a coincidence. Well, I can figure it out more. Well, how would I get to try clothes? You're the emperor. Just have the royal artisan make you something nice to wear. I could not. A good emperor could not force his royal subjects to perform such selfish work. But your highness, just think of how much money the royal artists will earn. Money? The royal artists will earn their fair share for all their such money. I don't know. It is a monopoly. It's not like a being ruled. I can't tell you, your highness. I just want you to be happy. Farewell. Wait! Are you sure that the royal artists would lie all this work? They would please come to serve you. And that they will be paid, they will be paid in plenty for all of their hard work. Yes. I guarantee. Yes. Make it happen. At once, your highness. Uh, wait. The royal parade is this evening. How long? Will it be? Just leave it to me and the money council. We will handle every detail, and you will start looking like an emperor sooner than you think. See to it and don't let me down. There you are, Captain Lady Council. We have a scheme to have. Is it snappy? Is it happy? Is it sappy? Is it waffle? To answer your questions, yes, 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 yes,
We gather the kingdom in the square. The, our, the kings and queens of the elemental kingdom have arrived. They were greeted by the entire kingdom. They were given silk scarves as a present. They will finish the royal feast with the emperor any moment now. Everything is ready for the parade this evening. All right, I think we are really getting the hang of this whole event planning business. Everything is going perfectly. Well, not everything. He thinks that the only way to be a good emperor is to wear ridiculously expensive and flashy items. Tell me about it. That's just what I told him. It's character, not clothes. Well, what are we going to do? Right now, nothing. Hopefully, he will listen to my advice and we should be all right. I love it! What happens if the royal feast has come to an end? Would you two go help the royal feast clean up? Why do we have to clean up? Would you rather attend to the king and queen? We will not to the kitchen, Red. Your Majesty, how is the royal feast? Oh, it's delicious. The emperor has joined you for the royal feast? It's one of a kind. It's. It's. It's a red velvet hat with feathers on the side. The velvet makes your own tea. The red is in the pie. The feathers are the reason to wear a house of pride. A red velvet hat with feathers on the side. Many Penny had a wonderful life. Oh, many Penny. Yes, he, she, well, next up, she suggested that I press the Court of Artisans 
to create such a fine item of what you see before you. Your Highness, forgive me, but this is a horrible idea. The royal artisan should be celebrating with you, not working for you. Uh, do not worry. Many can assure me that they will be paid in lots and lots and lots and lots of money for all of the hard work and effort. I really think you should. Rudy, enough. I'd not ask your opinion. Red Roxy! You summoned this your head of Whoa, would you look at it? I am not a group of Red Roxy. Would you please take Rudy here to the world grave? My friends, I will see you. Come with me. What happened? Many things. She convinced the emperor that he needs fancy things in order to be a good emperor. I did, but that's when he became upset and summoned you two. Well, What's that noise? I don't know, but it doesn't sound good. Let's go. No, I don't want to Should be my dear people, when will you understand that you will not get paid until the emperor is happy? But well, we can't make any more jewelry. And well, we can't make any more shoes. And well, we can't make any more hats. We certainly can't make any more clothes. Why? We are out of supplies! Now, as for all of you, you'll not get paid until the Emperor is satisfied. Now back to work. Work, 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 But how can we make more? We're out of diamonds, we're out of rubies. We're out of emeralds, we're out of pearls, we're out of emeralds. But don't worry, we will find a way to make this right. What happened to the Emperor? He was always so kind. He was always so happy. He was always so fun. He was always a good emperor. These are the emperor's real friends, not those kings and queens. The emperor just isn't the same anymore. Everything has to be rich. Everything has to be grand. Everything has to be fancy. Everything has to be wonderful. Everything has to be fancy. I just wish we could make him see. He doesn't need fancy things in order to be a good emperor. There has to be a way to snap out of this nonsense. There has to be clever. It has to be quick. It has to be honest. It has to be big. It has to be now. What's wrong? Is everything all right? The emperor said our ship was not fancy enough. The emperor called us lazy. He kicked us out of the castle. again when there's a concern. Come on, Red, this is a huge concern. The Emperor needs our help. Oh, fine, keep listening, but we must do something. Everyone listen. As the royal scholars, we vow we will come up with a plan and I'll bring our Emperor back to Mozart. A plan is so amazing and the sheer amount of coordination may take years to execute it. A plan that will require the three of us to put our collective consciousness together for hours of uninterrupted thought that will therefore What does this mean? Or we'll just do this. Great thing you Come on, everyone, let's go. <laughs>
Everything is not ready. We came to deliver a message from the royal artisans. But Your Highness, may we read it to you? You may. I can. Yeah. To our dear Emperor, please accept our deep apology. You have always been kind and generous to her. And when we asked these expensive items for you, we were happy to make them. However, we have relearned that they do not meet your royal standards. Therefore, to make amends, we have created a and see. We promise that you will truly be a sight to behold. We promise that these new clothes are unlike any you have seen before, and you will truly be a sight to behold. Sincerely, the royal artisans. What have you to realize that you spell this way? We do, and we should, as you have said. An emperor must look the part to be the part, and it is our job to ensure that you be every part the part of an emperor. But I thought you said that it's the character mask, not the clothes. Character schmerz, or what do we know? We're just your royal scholars. What Roxy is trying to say is that even royal scholars can be wrong at times, and this is one of them. But I hate to get the kings and queens ready for the parade, I know. Honored guests, if you would be so gracious as to follow Roxy and Ren, they will take you to get ready for the parade. When, this, when you see the emperor's new clothes, why, you will be that. To say the least. I will stay here with the emperor and make sure he gets ready for the parade. Wait until you see <coughs> new clothes. You will be amazed. <laughs> so will we. Sorry, your majesties, follow us. When do I get to see Why, right now, your highness. The royal jeweler has rings and necklaces of wonder, metals and gems that will always shine. Amazing jewels you will wear is their value beyond compare. Here are your new shoes, cobbled into great form, fit and fashion that will make you feel sublime. Make some shoes for your feet, it's true honor. <laughs> They sure are neat. Upon your head will sit no crown, for in its place will be crowned the crown of matter. The red velvet is so passe compared to this cranial creation. This crown will stand tall and be seen by all. It's certainly small. Here are your new clothes, with such ornate detail in every inch. Just look at the hand stitching. It's truly exquisite. Sure, to make you be. I think I'm starting to see a theme. You uh, do, your highness? All these items are amazing. Each one of them has the craftsmanship and quality worthy of them. And you are positive you see all the details? Each and every one. You are positive you see each and every item? Positively. Good, because we are not done yet. For no birthday suit can truly be complete without a matching silk scarf to finish the entire look.
Welcome. Emperor's orders you are not to be in the castle. Now hand over those scars and be on your way. Stunning. Uh, excuse me while I put on my They do? <laughs> Good work, everyone. Now on to the next phase of the plan. I will stay here with the Emperor and make sure he puts on his new clothes correctly. You all get ready for the royal parade. Everything is ready for the parade. What do you mean we're not ready? Right, we need to assemble the, uh, we need the artists. Why is it so hard to remember that part? Quickly, go ring the bell. Thank you. 
the road. Oh, I mean, I have your clothes right here. What do you mean? There are no clothes in that thing here. Correct, Lady Petty. That's because I'm already wearing them. You are? Yes. You need to be comfortable with that, and it looks perfectly fine. No, no, no. Come on. Oh, no. Well, let us stop. Enough nonsense. nonsense. Yes, but this is killing me. Come on, let us see those fine clothes. We are ready to be made. How are you? Why do you pick it Don't worry, everything will be fine. My friends, <laughs> now all the amazing clothes. Money Council, they can count on, please. Of course, your highness. Ten, nine, what are we going eight, to do? seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. on the emperor. Huh. Come on. However, we really thought this terrible lady. Now we should have done is just talk to you. No, we will have to talk later. Oh, behold my amazing new clothes. Ah! There are no need for long, friend, but I am new. Yeah. Your clothes are so plain. I know. Here's one whole <laughs> Well, you see, my friends, when I really made the past take it to the edge of the doorway, I looked into my mirror. Do you know who I saw? Who? No. No bondy clothes, no odd hats, exquisite shoes, shiny, brilliant jewelry, just me. It occurred to me that my friends here were trying to teach me a lesson. A lesson? It is not the clothes that make a person, it is their character. Indeed. So why the bathroom? Oh, it also occurred to me that my friends trick on me as well. So why not give them a taste of their own medicine? Sorry. Bye bye. It turns out our plan was perfect all along. Nonsense. They wanted to make you look like a fool in front of your guests. No one looks like a fool more than us. We thought they would throw it off if we critiqued him. So we commented about his attire. We found, we found that the more we encouraged the emperor, the more he liked us. We realize now we have done more harm than good. We hope the entire kingdom can forgive us. From now on, we pledge to be true friends. Friends who care about your character, not your clothes.
Thank mm-hmm. you.